think I uh, I think I like pigeon hunting better than than actually like goose and duck hunting. I think I'm gonna start up a new channel, pigeon hunting for life, <laughs> like four and then life. L Y yeah, that's that's gonna be my new channel. L Y F E. Yeah, it's pretty uh, it's pretty pretty fun actually. I'm having a, I'm having a great time. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films. I'm glad you're here again. I miss your beautiful faces. I've been uploading basically every other day for a few weeks now and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys and I'm telling you what, it's just extremely valuable to me. You guys give me so many good ideas. Today's idea actually came from one of you guys. So today we are going to talk about the number one, the most easiest decoy hack that all you guys should be doing, especially all you guys that are get those bitter, 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 bitter cold temperatures like I do here in Kansas. I'm getting blinded. Not tinting fast enough. But real quick, before we get into it, I know you guys love these videos, so if you are excited for this here hack, drop that thumbs up. You know I appreciate it every time you guys do. But I want you guys to uh, keep sending your duck fire spots, your fire duck hunting spots. That's what we're looking for primarily is duck. We have a bunch of goose, so we're looking really, really primarily for good duck hunts. We've had a lot of you guys send great ones in. We're sifting through them as we speak and uh, kind of figuring out which ones we are able, you know, that might be possible and the ones that we're like, oh man, that's just kind of too far out of our league right now. So we appreciate all you guys send them in. Flair and I, really, we've been talking. We talked just earlier this morning and we are excited. You guys are so pumped and going along with us on this waterfowl ride. So remember to put your state and if it's a duck or goose hunt in the title of the email guys and send it right here. Thanks y'all. So today guys, like I was saying, this is for you guys that kind of struggle with the bitter temps like I do. Uh, this is about bases and it's about round bases and stakes. Primarily about stakes, but let's start with round bases. This view is awful, let me switch it up. I have had a lot of questions from you guys uh, regarding round bases and stakes saying, hey Bobby, what do I buy? I don't have the money to spend uh, on both round and stakes. What should I get? And uh, I'm gonna start with round bases. Round bases serve their purpose really well in shallow water, in rivers, in rocks. Like if you're, if you're hunting rivers that has a, like a heavy rock bed that's really hard to get a stake into, Round bases serve their purpose really well. For me, the reason why I don't prefer round bases over stakes is for the simple reason that I hunt fields a lot and fields are extremely windy. I always have round base decoys fall over all the time. With stakes, I just, you don't have that problem of them getting blown over. They can withstand 30 mile an hour winds with no problem. And uh, yeah, they're just better for that reason. Now getting on to the meat and taters of this deal, steaks. Why steaks suck is because in bitter cold temperatures, when the ground is completely froze, a lot of times it's impossible to get the steak in the ground. Now we have literally used drill bits before. Yes, drill bits, like we had two to three drills, drilling holes with a guy following throwing steaks in the holes. It was awful, but it worked and it was extremely time consuming. My one hack that I can give you guys using stakes that only have stakes, it's, it's best to have an option of both. If you can afford round, round base and stakes, do it because it'll save your butt a lot of times. So here guys, I have two stakes, the green one being an avian, and as you can see it's pretty thick, and at the end it does have a point on it, but it is, it is not extremely too, you know, not too sharp. Let me find my words here. Not too sharp there. This is a green headgear steak, but compared to the avian, it is way, way, way skinner. Skinnier, skinner, way skinnier. Look how much thicker the avian is. The avian steaks are hard to get in the ground. Now, that's why today's hack is kind of based around the avian steak is because it's kind of blunt. It's, it's got a blunt point to it. It's not as slender and, and narrow as this guy. This actually has a point on it better than this one but this one's so much thinner and slender it, it helps to go on the ground so on those cold days what you guys need to do in the off season i need to get around to just 
blabbing this out there. Sharpen your stakes, guys. Sharpen these bad boys. That means... That means, preferably, guys, using a belt sander. If you guys have a belt sander, if your grandpa does, if your dad does, go use a belt sander. The sander. Sander, it's extremely, it's a lot more safe than this method right here. I just got an angle grinder with a little grinding disc on that bad boy. And I'm just going to go through all of my stakes and I'm going to sharpen them till they are nice and pointy. Which will allow me to get them in that frozen ground a lot easier. bad boys are a fiberglass as you can see it sparked a little bit but I put a heck of a uh, come on focus camera I put a heck of a point on that bad boy uh, maybe a little too much to be honest I took I took quite a bit off of that but you get the hint put a good nice sharp point on them they don't have to be that like a like a damn vampire tooth here like I got because that'll probably break off on the end a little bit so uh, don't go that sharp by no means uh, that's the avian so being sharp is actually going to help that avian a lot since they are so darn thick so let's do the other one now on this one it's a lot skinnier than that avian so I just took a little went a little higher didn't go really sharp on it not extremely sharp on this one I like how I did this one a lot better I know this will work perfect but honestly guys this is gonna be the first year that I've went through and sharpened all of our steaks I know do that doing this will help a bunch this year last year we had a bunch of problems it got really cold it got wet and then got cold got wet and got cold so there is a lot of times that we had very very hard frozen ice ground and it was just impossible to get especially these avians in the ground if you guys have any good ideas for decoy hacks hunting hacks goose hunting hacks duck hunting hacks to make life easier simpler whether it means you're modifying something or you have a good way of doing something that makes you know whether it's sitting out decoys fast whether it's something unique that would be a good video that I may not even know about drop it in the comment section below let me know guys it's a really awesome subject if I could get some more good ideas from you guys you know I appreciate that so but stay tuned flares coming this weekend we're gonna go over a lot of your guys's emails together remember email us here with your spots if you want us to come hunt with you nationwide let us know stick around it's about to get real real around here We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Peace.